Drug Master Files, DMF, by MentorAndServe.com. We will look now for next few minutes about DMF and introduction. DMF process. Types of DMF. Format of DMF. Authorization to refer to a DMF. General information and suggestions. Holder obligations. Major reorganization of a DMF. Closure of a DMF. Europe, eDMF. DMF, and introduction. A drug master file, DMF, is a submission to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, that may be used to provide confidential detailed information about facilities, processes, or articles used in the manufacturing, processing, packaging, and storing of one or more human drugs. The submission of a DMF is not required by law or FDA regulation. A DMF is submitted solely at the discretion of the holder. DMFs are generally created to allow a party other than the holder of the DMF to reference material without disclosing to that party the contents of the file. An example might be a Finnish drug manufacturer who wants to reference information about a drug substance from another company which wants to keep their processing information confidential. The information contained in the DMF may be used to support an investigation or new drug application, IND, a new drug application, NDA, an abbreviated new drug application, ANDA, another DMF an export application, or amendments and supplements to any of these. A DMF is not a substitute for an IND, NDA, ANDA, or export application. It is not approved or disapproved but rather found to be deficient or satisfactory in support of the drug application in which they are provided. Technical contents of a DMF are reviewed only in connection with the review of an IND, NDA, ANDA, or an export application. Holder the person or company who submits a DMF. Agent, the person or company who represents a DMF holder. Applicant, the person or company who references the DMF. Customer or authorized party. The DMF will be reviewed only when it is referenced in an application or another DMF. The holder must submit in low, letter of authorization in two copies and one copy to applicant. The applicant submits its copy of low in their application. DMF process. Two copies of DMF are mailed to DMF staff. DMF staff will audit the information for completeness and adequacy for submission. If the key element are missing the staff will contact the proposed holder to try to obtain the necessary documents in order to file the DMF. Once the DMF are determined to be acceptable for filing, the document room staff assigns a DMF number and a letter is sent to contact person listed in the DMF. Types of DMFs Type I, Manufacturing Site, Facilities, Operating Procedures, and Personnel Type II, Drug Substance, Drug Substance Intermediate, and Material Used in Their Preparation or drug product. Type 3, packaging material. Type 4, excipient, colorant, flavor, essence, or material used in their preparation. Type V, FDA accepted reference information. Type I. A type I DMF is recommended for a person outside of the United States to assist FDA in conducting on-site inspections of their manufacturing facilities. The DMF should describe the manufacturing site, equipment capabilities, and operational layout. A type I DMF is normally not needed to describe domestic facilities, except in special cases, such as when a person is not registered and not routinely inspected. The description of the site should include actual site address, and a map showing its location with respect to the nearest city. An aerial photograph and a diagram of the site may be helpful. A diagram of major production and processing areas is helpful for understanding the operational layout. Major equipment should be described in terms of capabilities, application, and location.
make and model would not normally be needed unless the equipment is new or unique. A diagram of major corporate organizational elements with key manufacturing, quality control, and quality assurance positions highlighted at both the manufacturing site and corporate headquarters is also helpful. Type 2. Summarize all significant steps in the manufacturing and controls of the drug intermediate or substance. Detailed guidance on what should be included in a type 2 DMF for drug substances and intermediates may be found in the following guidelines. Guideline for submitting supporting documentation in drug applications for the manufacture of drug substances. Guideline for the format and content of the chemistry, manufacturing, and controls. Section of an application. Drug product. Manufacturing procedures and controls for finished dosage forms should ordinarily be submitted in an IND NDA, AMDA, or export application. If this information cannot be submitted in an IND NDA, AMDA, or export application, it should be submitted in a DMF. When a type 2 DMF is submitted for a drug product, the applicant, sponsor should follow the guidance provided in the following guidelines. Guideline for the format and content of the chemistry, manufacturing, and control section of an application. Guideline for submitting documentation for the manufacture of and controls for drug products. Guideline for submitting samples and analytical data for methods validation. Type 3. Each packaging material should be identified by the intended use, components, composition, and controls for its release. The names of the suppliers or fabricators of the components used in preparing the packaging material and the acceptance specifications should also be given. Data supporting the acceptability of the packaging material for its intended use should also be submitted as outlined in the guideline for submitting documentation for packaging for human drugs and biologics. Toxicological data on these materials would be included under this type of DMF if not otherwise available by cross-reference to another document. Type 4. Each additive should be identified and characterized by its method of manufacture, release specifications, and testing methods. Toxicological data on these materials would be included under this type of DMF, if not otherwise available by cross-reference to another document. Usually, the official compendia and FDA regulations for followings may be used as sources for release tests, specifications, and safety. Color additives. Direct food additives. Indirect food additives. And food substances. Type V. FDA discourages the use of type V DMFs for miscellaneous information, duplicate information, or information that should be included in one of the other types of DMFs. If any holder wishes to submit information and supporting data in a DMF that is not covered by type C through 4, a holder must first submit a letter of intent to the drug master file staff. FDA will then contact the holder to discuss the proposed submission. Format of DMF. An original and duplicate are to be submitted for all DMF submissions. Drug master file holders and their agents, the representative should retain a complete reference copy that is identical to, and maintained in the same chronological order as, their submissions to FDA. The original and duplicate copies must be collated, fully assembled, and individually jacketed. Each volume of a DMF should, in general, be no more than two inches thick. For multi-volume submissions, number each volume. For example, for a three-volume submission, the volumes would be numbered 1 of 3, 2 of 3, and 3 of 3. U.S. standard paper size, 8 half by 11 inches, is preferred. Paper length should not be less than 10 inches nor more than 12 inches. However, it may occasionally be necessary to use individual pages larger than standard paper size to present a floor plan, synthesis diagram, batch formula, or manufacturing instructions.
Those pages should be folded and mounted to allow the page to be opened for review without disassembling the jacket and refolded without damage when the volume is shelved. Authorization to refer to a drug master file. A letter of authorization to FDA. Before FDA can review DMF information in support of an application, the DMF holder must submit in duplicate to the DMF a letter of authorization permitting FDA to reference the DMF. The letter of authorization should include the following. The date. Name of DMF holder. DMF number. Name of persons authorized to incorporate information in the DMF by reference. Specific products covered by the DMF. Section numbers and or page numbers to be referenced. Statement of commitment that the DMF is current and that the DMF holder will comply with the statements made in it. Signature of authorizing official. Type name and title of official authorizing reference to the DMF. B copy to applicant, sponsor, or other holder. The holder should also send a copy of the letter of authorization to the affected applicant, sponsor, or other holder who is authorized to incorporate by reference the specific information contained in the DMF. The applicant, sponsor, or other holder referencing a DMF is required to include a copy of the DMF holder's letter of authorization in the application. General Information and Suggestions Environmental Assessment Type 2, Type 3, and Type 4 DMFs should contain a commitment by the firm that its facilities will be operated in compliance with applicable environmental laws. Stability Stability study design, data, interpretation, and other information should be submitted, when applicable, as outlined in the guideline for submitting documentation for the stability of human drugs and biologics. Holder obligations any change or addition, including a change in authorization related to specific customers, should be submitted in duplicate and adequately cross-referenced to previous submissions. The reference should include the dates, volumes, sections, and or page numbers affected. A notice required for changes to a drug master file. A holder must notify each affected applicant or sponsor who has referenced its DMF of any pertinent change. In the DMF. 21 CFR 314. 420C. Notice should be provided well before making the change in order to permit the sponsor, applicant to supplement or amend any affected applications as needed. B. Listing of persons authorized to refer to a drug master file. A DMF is required to contain a complete list of persons authorized to incorporate information in the DMF by Reference, 21 CFR 314.420D. The holder should update the list in the annual update. The updated list should contain the holder's name, DMF number, and the date of the update. The update should identify by name or code the information that each person is authorized to incorporate and give the location of that information by date, volume, and page number. Any person whose authorization has been withdrawn during the previous year should be identified under a suitable caption. If the list is unchanged on the anniversary date, the DMF holder should also submit a statement that the list is current. See Annual Update. The holder should provide an annual report on the anniversary date of the original submission. This report should contain the required list as described in B.1 and should also identify all changes and additional information incorporated into the DMF since the previous annual report on the subject matter of the DMF. If the subject matter of the DMF is unchanged, the DMF holder should provide a statement that the subject matter of the DMF is current. Failure to update or to assure FDA annually that previously submitted material and lists in the DMF remain. Current can cause delays in FDA review of a pending IMD NDA, AMDA, export application, or any de appointment of an agent. When an agent is appointed, the holder should submit a signed letter of appointment to the DMF giving the agent's name, address, and scope of responsibility, administrative and or scientific. Domestic DMF holders do not need to appoint an agent or representative. 
although foreign DMF holders are encouraged to engage a U.S. agent. E-transfer of ownership. To transfer ownership of the DMF to another party, the holder should so notify FDA and authorized persons in writing. The letter should include the following. Name of transferee. Address of transferee. Name of responsible official of transferee. Effective date of transfer. Signature of the transferring official. Typewritten name and title of the transferring official. The new holder should submit a letter of acceptance of the transfer and an update of the information contained in the DMF, where appropriate. Any change relating to the new ownership, for example, planned location and methods, should be major reorganization of a drug master file. A holder who plans a major reorganization of a DMF is encouraged to submit a detailed plan of the proposed changes and request it. Review by the drug master file staff. The staff should be given sufficient time to comment and provide suggestions before a major reorganization is undertaken. Closure of a drug master file. A holder who wishes to close a DMF should submit a request to the drug master file staff stating the reason for the closure. See section 4D.5.A for the address. The request should include a statement that the holder's obligations. The agency may close a DMF that does not contain an annual update of persons authorized to incorporate information in the DMF by reference and a list of changes made since the previous annual report. The holder will be notified of FDA's intent to close the DMF. Many of the guidelines referred to in the text and the current list of available. Guidelines may be obtained from the following Legislative, Professional, and Consumer Affairs Branch, HFD 365, Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, Food and Drug Administration, 5600 Fishers Lane, Rockville, Maryland 20857, Europe, EDMF, European DMF, Applicants Part or Open Part. Applicant's part as the name suggests is for the applicant, who in turn submits this as part of their dossier. Another name open part indicates that this part contains open information which is not confidential and can be shared with applicant. Restricted part or closed part. The name indicates this is confidential part. Closed part will be submitted to regulatory authority along with open part. Thank you. Drug Master Files, DMF.